How's it going everyone? Phil here from Fierce Technology and if you have one of the newer iPhones that does not have the home button located on the front of it, then this video is for you. This will work from anywhere from the iPhone 10 all the way up to the newer iPhones. So how do you shut your phone off? A lot of people can't figure it out. There is two ways to do it and I'm going to tell you both ways. First way is go into your settings, go into general and go down to shut down and then you would just slide to power off. So you can slide to just shut it completely off. We're not gonna do that right now. The next way to do it is to do it from the buttons, which I find is the much easier way to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. All you need to do is hold either the down or the up button. You can choose whichever one you want to. So for this purpose, we're gonna hold the down button and then we're just gonna hold that, that power button. And there we go. And that will bring up the screen that we need. So we can slide to power off from this mode, which we will do right now. And to turn back on your phone, all you're gonna do is hold down the slide power button right here for about two or three seconds until you see the Apple logo. There we go. Apple logo is coming back on and your phone will completely restart. Now, why would you need to hard reset your phone? Hard resetting your phone is actually not bad for maintenance. If you hard reset your phone maybe once a week, it's a good refresh for your phone and it's good for your battery to do it. Also, if your phone is frozen for some reason in an app or it's not switching back and forth for screens, you probably wanna do a hard reset on it. With previous iPhones, all you would have to do is just hold down your home button and hold down this button right here, the power button, and you'd be able to hard reset your phone. But that's not the case anymore because there is no button in the middle. This process requires you to use three buttons, your volume up, your volume down, and your power on and off lock switch. So let's go ahead and get started. So all we're going to do is go volume up, volume down, hold down your side power button until you see the Apple logo. Continue holding the button down here on the side. And there we go, it's restarting. Once you see the Apple logo, There we go. Now you can release the side power button. You don't have to continue holding these buttons at all. All it is is just up, down, and hold down your power button until you see the Apple logo and just let it reset. And now that the phone is all restarted, your phone should be unfrozen and should be working properly. So again, guys, this is a super easy process to do. I'm gonna show you once again without going through your settings. I'm just gonna use the buttons. This time I'm gonna hold the volume up and then the power button down together for about two or three seconds. And there we go, we get the slide to power off. So all we're gonna do is just slide to power off and you're completely done. Let's say you have a phone that is acting up, the software is a little bit buggy, it's running slow, your battery is dying really fast, and you need to reset the phone and restore it to factory settings. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. It's gonna to require a couple of steps, but it's really not that difficult to do. The first thing you will need is a computer. For the purpose of this video, I do have my MacBook Pro here, but you can do this with a PC. The first thing you wanna do is download the latest iTunes software on your MacBook or your PC. Once you've done that, go to your phone. Let's have a look at the phone itself. We've got a cable plugged into it. You can see the USB cable right here and the USB cable right here, the lightning cable. We're gonna plug that right into the phone itself. We'll plug that in first. There we go. It's probably gonna ask you to trust or something on your computer. Sometimes it won't if you've already done that before, but we're gonna leave that as is for now. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to press a couple combinations of buttons. The first thing we're gonna do is press the up button and then the down button, and then we're gonna hold down the power on and off button. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna press up, down, hold the button, continue holding this button. You're gonna to have to hold this button for probably 20 or 30 seconds until you see the phone go into recovery mode. Continue holding, continue holding. Don't let go of the button right there. Even if you see that Apple logo, don't let go yet. Continue holding. It will show up with like a little computer on the iPhone itself and that will let you know. There we go. Now you can release the button and you can see now the phone is in like a recovery mode or DFU mode as a lot of you like to call it. So we'll leave it as is. We'll put the phone down here for a second and it says there's a problem with your iPhone that re requires it to be updated or restored. Updating it would be updating it to the newest software. Restoring it would be factory resetting it, making it nice and fresh. So we're gonna hit the restore. Now before you do that, I wanna remind you that 
this will erase everything off your phone. So any photos, pictures, or anything you have on your phone is gone unless you have backed up your phone through iCloud or your iTunes computer before, then you do have a backup of it. But don't do this if you don't wanna lose your information, so make sure you have a backup of your phone. So let's go ahead and hit the restore on there and restore an update. So this means that if you don't have the latest software on your phone, this will require it to update to the latest software. If you don't have the latest update on your computer, it's going to download that update for you before it restores your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on restore and update. And we're just gonna let it do its thing. You can see because I have the software already on my computer, it's extracting the software. And then we're gonna let it do its thing. You can still see my phone still has that recovery mode on there. But let's go ahead and fast forward and see what it does once it's done extracting and installing that software. You can see once it's preparing and restoring the software, it does show with the Apple logo. So it does go away from that little computer screen on the iPhone. But let's go ahead and let it do its little bar install up there. And once that process is done, you will get a little icon on your screen which says this iPhone has been restored. And now that it's done, you can see it's just hitting that reset mode and it's gonna go back to completely the beginning, the factory fresh when you got your iPhone. And while it's restarting, you can see it did pop up with this screen which says activation lock, which means that you do need to enter your Apple ID, username and password to unlock the phone. So if you found this phone or it's a lost phone, and you're trying to do this process to get into the phone, if you don't have the Apple ID username or password, you're not gonna be able to use this phone. The phone is completely useless. So if it's a stolen phone or it's a lost phone, try and find the original owner and give it back to them. But if it's your phone, all you need to do is enter your Apple ID username and password and you can continue the process. And there we go. We are at the beginning stages of this phone as if it was brand new. I can unplug it now and then we can continue the process as far as active activating the phone in normal. Again, if you haven't entered your Apple ID username and password, it will take you to the steps to do that on here. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you smash that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.